Hey guys, Shockwing here, and we are playing Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, Is that if that's how you say it. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, however, as you can see, this is an anime-style game. It is a murder mystery visual novel, and it looked very interesting, so I had to pick it up. We're going straight into new game. Oh, we're of course doing Japanese. I think this will give me English subtitles. I'm hoping. Uh, we'll do, we'll do kind. I'm not sure what to expect and then we'll have to see if this will be Japanese voiced English subtitled what the fuck is happening okay yep typical Japanese weirdness right from the beginning great Blast off! Okay, so I think I found the murderer. It's the bear. Solved it! Oh, great. Okay, we're tripping hard, I see. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh god, he's dead. Well, yep, we found the murderer. It's the goddamn bear. The one that looks very evil. Go figure. Also, the bear has a two-faced thing going on. Harvey Dent the bear. Alright. Okay. Okay, so it is in English subtitles, which is good. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in the bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. I'm assuming this is me. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable, a government-funded school of privilege. That They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. Good. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop to, into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There's our school. There are two things you need to attend the school. One, you have to already be attending high school, and two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students was me. Yeah, so this is me. That's me, guys. Don't we look exactly the same? Same style of clothes we like to wear, same hairstyle. My name is Makoto Negi. Before we go any further, I guess I should introduce myself. My name is Makoto Negi. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. I'm so hopelessly average. I hope this isn't poor. <laughs> average on the outside, average on the inside. This is most how most uh, visual novels start. I really don't know, have much going on for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm psychic or mutant or whatever, it's just normal. And how did I get into the school if I'm super normal? Unless I'm so normal, I'm above average in being normal. Like, I'm the best at being just completely normal, which is why the school hired me. That's what it is. Or hired me, enrolled me. Like, if you asked me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's the most popular at the particular moment. Yeah, I'm just the best at being normal. Even among the average, I'm completely average. So, I can't, can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. That's still pretty normal. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still... Here I am standing in front of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. I've got this overwhelming presence like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. Well, what you have to understand is, well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Oh. Name anonymous. Come on, keep coming. Hope's Peak only invites those students who are the truly elite in their field. So I'm truly elite in being normal. 
This year's ultimate pop sensation is going to be there, blah, blah, blah. It's such a popular talk that the threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prayer, I looked up some of those threads, and all I was... And all I saw was talk about ultimate students, who are way beyond your average high schooler. Hello, ladies. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I'm liking this game. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Okay. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. Seems like these kids already have really good jobs lined up. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Even the pop star girl? Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too? <laughs> the scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker, every biker gang in Japan? He's the leader of every biker gang. Not just one, everyone. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant. Oh, so psychics are there. I'm the ultimate norm normie. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on no matter how much I looked. The ultimate sneaks. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just be average students like me without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality. But beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to be you just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. Okay? We recently held oh, a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. Okay. They spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer, but after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. Interesting. I wonder if the school did, though. They say it's luck, but I wonder if it really was luck. But then actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there would be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I love how my my character, my my guy, just goes through this whole... He introduces himself to himself. He goes through this whole monologue of what's happened to himself. <laughs> no one does this. I gathered up all my detriment determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before and I was filled with determination and I took my first step toward the main hall all right finally oh this is where we're supposed to meet right I guess I'm the first one here there's a really elegant clock over in the corner it says it's 7 10 a.m. I don't see an elegant clock the mean doesn't start until 8 o'clock so there's a full 50 minutes left it makes sense nobody else would be here yet I was so wound up I got here way too early I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... Exactly what? I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little bit. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? I wonder why some of the text is blue and some of it's white. It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope Seek Academy. It's like the blue he's thinking, but the white he's saying out loud, because either way, he's still talking to himself. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least that's what I was hoping for. Oh shit, is this happening? Okay, this is actually happening. But the instant I took the first step forward, my view became warped and twisted. I was having a stroke. It was like some kind of delusion melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And the next moment, everything went black. That's how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized... The reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Oh shit. Welcome to despair. Despair High School. This took a quick turn. Uh, sure. I'll save it. Yeah. Yep, sure. 
Oh, I'm so sexy. I'm so normal. What? Oh, this is me still. Where am I? I woke up with a head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to sonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing sleeping here just now? There isn't a classroom I've ever been here before. What the heck is going on? Whoa. I like the graphics. The art style. Welcome to Host Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You can use the mouse to adjust your aim. I'm aiming? If you can aim if you aim at an object, you can interact okay, you can press the left mouse. And press it, you'll investigate that object. Use the okay. Okay, why don't you try looking around the classroom? I'm looking. Okay, cool. There, looking, see, looking. Oh, I moved this around. Look at that. Oh, investigate. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? An orientation guide. It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet and there's something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. What the hell? Is this some, uh, someone's idea of a joke? Uh, all right, so I just have to... Oh, there's a camera. Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to keep weirdos from just wandering in. I think this school is filled with weirdos, honestly. What is this? What the heck? Bolted down windows? In any normal costume, that's where a window should be, but it looks like there's some kind of metal plate that's been bolted over it. Those are ginormous bolts. Like, huge bolts. Unnecessarily big. And they're coming in all different shapes and sizes. If I were to knock on it... Why did I knock on it? Yep, definitely metal. Thick too. Oh, okay, very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are the metal plates over the windows? Again, it just kind of looks like someone just pulled out their giant toolbox and just picked bolts out at random and placed them on there. Uh, what else we got? We got a TV. There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not weird to have a TV in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. This is going to be like saw. I don't want to leave the door just yet. Clock. What time is it? Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour? Ah, I was only passed out for 50 minutes. That's not bad. That's that's not bad for the brain. I got myself wound up. I passed out in the main hall and then somehow someone carried me here. If that's true, it must mean this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. Who would have guessed? But then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meantime. There might be other students there now. You can leave the classroom by pressing the R key. What if I want to look at the door? Leave the area. Oh, okay, so either one works. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Just making sure I saw everything there is to see. This is an interesting game for sure. All right, we'll leave. Leave the area? Yes. Geez, the hallway is kind of weird too. This is getting stranger by the second. Honestly, I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Uh, okay. Oh, I can run. Why would I need to run? Is something gonna be chasing me? Oh, Jesus. What's in here? Room 1B, the door's locked tight. All right. A spare hotel. I guess it's a place for people to stay overnight, but anyway, I need to get to the main hall. Yeah, because the hotel will just call themselves Despair Hotel. Whoa. I'm assuming this is the way out and it's going to be locked. I wonder where this red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick standing here. Oh, maybe never mind. Maybe I don't want to go down there. Maybe. The AV room, it's locked. Okay. Whoa. A school store, I guess, is not open. Is this the main hall? Oh, shit. I didn't know that I would walk in. By the time I got... Oh, I did go to the main hall. Oh, well, I had to go there anyway. Everyone else was already there. Hey, everyone. I don't know who's saying that, so I'll let them say it. Oh, so anime. I love it. There's a big fat guy with an interesting looking tie there. Standing before me was the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who'd gathered there, taking in their faces 
one at a time. Some of these students, particularly the guy on the very right, does not seem like he is of age. This guy. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could have felt a kind of aura coming from each of them. Whoa. Huh, how's it going? Uh, how's it going? My name is Makoto Negi. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. Sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. I'm gonna change his name to just Shockwing. Hey, it's Shockwing! How's it going? Huh? Well, you too? Hmm. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. So strange. Oh, so strange I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt. This is a strange situation, dude. Oh, uh, what are you talking about? Oh, wait, this is me. <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Just a moment. There's something else we must address. Shockwave, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware of the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. Everyone, just calm down. Listen, we don't all have to go around and introduce ourselves. The hell? Now's the time for freaking introductions. <laughs> maybe, but it may be a good to at least find out who we all are before digging into bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? That's a good point. Oh god, there's so many females. Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best just to focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is the good chances. This is as good as the chances I'm gonna get. I already looked everyone up on Hope Speak Academy thread online, but I still don't know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to those five over there. Aim at a student and press the left mouse button. I figured each conversation is important, so keep track of how they go. God damn. This might get hard. Hi, my name is Shockwing. What's your name, camera? Oh, my god, it has a gun attached to it? There's no way that's a real gun, right? Hopefully not. Hopefully it's not a real gun. Let's go talk to the spaz. I'm Kyoto Ishimaru. I believe in uh, bold simplicity. Let's work together on an educational crusade. Ultimate moral compass. Alright, you look like a Nazi. So that's Kiyotaka, according to what I saw about him on the thread. He went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title Ultimate Moral Compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Shockwing, right? That's a good name, a strong name. Thank you. Thank you, I think so too. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. I agree, it's amazing. Though it wasn't my parents. And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Wow, you are intense. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right? He's got the... This guy is kind of annoying. Oh, I don't want it to go auto, but whatever. He's got the Renongan. I think it was called Ice. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Toko Fukawa. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but... I'm Toko Toko Fukawa. Ultimate writing prodigy. She's a writer. The quiet type. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10. I got everyone talking and launched her literary career. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men pole. <laughs> Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes and all her books are instant bestsellers, which is why she's come to known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type but with all that masterpiece being a romance and all. Nah, she's not. Oh my god, she's got a creepy grin. What? What? It's not polite to stare, you know. Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Oh god, she's got an attitude adjustment. Filthy creature? No, I just thought... I know what you just thought. You just thought you'd never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was too funny. This is what <laughs> no, no, that's not what I was thinking at all. Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you, I know you can't stand looking at me. Whatever, I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow, talk about an inferiority pro complex and a scary fucking voice. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. Alright. 
Let's go talk to the fatty. I'm gonna save the best for last. I think she's gonna be my favorite. She's already looking very cute. All right, fatty. Oh I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and Omega, I don't mind. I'm trying to get a name, a uh, voice for him. All right, what are you? Ultimate fanfic creator. Of course you are. What does that mean? By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of two, well, world of 2D. <laughs> well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. That's great and all. Ugh. Mm -hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event was passed into legend. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? Why does the school need an ultimate fanfic creator? That's too bad about them, but uh, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. The world of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am likely I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Shockwing, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Uh, maybe, maybe I won't deny it. I haven't seen your work, so. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What, what, what kind of meaning? It's about embracing your basis urges. <laughs> I don't think I want to comprehend it. <laughs> you're weird. Oh, you're intense too. Why has everyone got the Renan again? Yo, the name's Leon Ko Kawada. Leon Kawada, what's up? All right, what are you? Ultimate base? Oh, this is the ultimate baseball star. I recognize that name. He played for the National High School camp champs as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is... You, you seriously? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing, I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all. What were you expecting? Some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and a picture of you online, that's how you looked then. Yeah. What? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of the national championship regulations. But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? Yeah, totally. Uh, we just met. We barely know each other. You actually uh, know nothing about me, but yeah, be honest with me. I don't like baseball. Like at all. I've never gone to a single practice. Oh, fuck you being just born with that gift. Some of us have to work. He's never practiced. He was still his team's star player. He's some kind of prodigy. And as soon as I get accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? I'm gonna be a singer. So all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar and we're set. This new version of me that's chased after my dream is like super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. Okay, wait, is there more? Oh, what's this? A mailbox, there's nothing inside. I can tell from over here? I have x-ray vision. I'm the ultimate eye looker person. The ultimate seeker. That's, there's a TV, the school's fun. Oh yeah, I already know. I know! I mean, lots of trophies. Holy cow, what's with this huge metal hatch? It looks like the kind of thing you'd see in a secret military base or something. This is the same main hall I was in before, right? The door was definitely not here, though. All right, let's go talk to her. Oh, you're so cute. I love you already. Ah, oh, it's so good to see you two. Oh, she's the ultimate pop sensation. Sayaka Maizono? 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 The way she moves is positively mesmerizing, and that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Sayaka Maizono. Maizono. When I see her, saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous all, pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she is in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to the school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but she was in my school before. Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. 
I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Wait, did I say that out loud? Huh? Did you hear me? Oh, she's psychic! That's that's not good. <laughs> Kidding, I just have really good intuition. Oh, uh, fucking what? She's a sharp one. Huh. Hey, by any... Imagine if you didn't think that, though. Like, how weird that would be. She would just say this random thing. You'd be like, uh, I'm gay, by the way. So, no, I don't think that's... Now what? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Shockwing, did... Jeez, you guys. How long do you plan to waste your valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Sorry, sorry. I just got carried away, I guess. Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bubbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Shut up! I'm talking to my future girlfriend. You're, you're right. So, Shockwing, we can talk about this later. No! I wanted to hear what you had to say. But it's not like we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Oh, more people. Okay, now we can talk to five people over there. So I'm actually going to stop right here, guys. We'll talk to these five people in the next episode. I have no idea what's going to happen, but I'm sure we'll find out very soon. Uh, remember to comment, like, and subscribe, guys. Until next time, Shockwing out. Hopefully this doesn't get as depressing as the last episode. Hopefully we can stick with humor. Ooh, and I say as there is blood everywhere. <gasps> Secrets out, Brad. Shh, she's gone.